And we start with Governor Whitmer signing that bipartisan bill to release billions of dollars in release funds into Michigan. We thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. Now the bulk of the bill would bump up food assistance by 15% through September. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel spoke one on one with the governor today about the bill and moving Michigan forward. All right. This morning, Michigan's Governor Gretchen Whitmer signing $2.2 billion into Michigan's recovery from the pandemic. Included in the bipartisan bill, $1.5 billion for food assistance, $378.3 million for emergency rental assistance, and $322.1 million for local governments to dole out to households, small businesses, nonprofits, and other expenses. These are dollars that came in from the Trump administration like seven months ago. They've been sitting there. Now we can finally get them deployed so that they can support our kids. Um, and, and this is a, a good step forward, and I'm committed to staying at the table and getting this done because the people of our state don't care about partisan fights. What they want is action, and these dollars have been, you know, languishing here in Michigan. To move Michigan forward, the governor has recommended a series of investments from Biden administration funds that would need to be negotiated with the Republican-led legislature, including $300 million to encourage employers to bump employee pay up to 15 bucks an hour by offering grants to cover three months of the difference if the business agrees to pay the wage for at least three more months and $100 million to help restaurants and other businesses through $20,000 grants to cover mortgage, rent, taxes, payroll, and other operating costs. Utilizing these federal dollars that are coming in as an incentive on top of pay that people can go back and earn in a new job is really important. I just don't have the authority to extend that alone. We need the legislature to expand what we can do with those work share dollars. And many of the businesses that we talked to did not want to weigh in on these political footballs. And there is a lot of negotiating left to be done with millions of dollars of American Rescue Plan funds that are left to be doled out if and when compromise can be found. For 7 Action News, I'm Brian Abel. Brian, thank you.